got an internship in February. That internship fell through a couple of months later, and uh, I happened to mention it to someone who worked at Documobi, who then uh, offered me an internship on the spot. I was just a software development intern. It was with a company called Documobi, based in Harrogate. Uh, they do to technology, specifically uh, web development and app development. I helped build some of their infrastructure. Uh, I also built their website for them when they needed a new website. Uh, and considering I hadn't had any programming experience outside of my degree, I, I was actually really proud of the fact that it, it not only looked good, worked well, and I'd managed to put in some own modifications that they came back and went, actually, this looks really good with a language that I'd only been using for eight weeks. Going into the internship, I thought that I could happily program for the rest of my life. Uh, although I really enjoyed it, it's made me realize I don't want to particularly do programming. I enjoy getting hands-on, whether that's with research in a lab or uh, kind of developing technology, both hardware and software. Just narrowing that down made me kind of think about the, the jobs I wanted to get into and has now made me consider a PhD more than I originally did, so I'm now looking into that. I would looked for internships across the country. I went to careers fairs, chatted to a lot of the different companies. There are a lot of rejections involved no matter how good you are, I kept telling myself, oh, I'm competing against the country, so I'm not surprised I didn't get an internship. Um, it was just a case of keep tweaking the CV to suit the jobs and just try and learn from each experience. Once you've got that experience of how to apply to internship, you'll definitely be ready to kind of target the employer of what they want and be able to pick out your skills for that set.